UFC light heavyweight champion Alex Pereira is currently sponsored by a crypto called Block Dag. Us as Caspians realize this is a knockoff of Caspa. Obviously, we shouldn't invest in the project called Block Dag, but it showcases how the people on the inside track the power players in advertisement recognize how much thunder Caspa's about to steal from the entire crypto market. Looking at Alpha Scan, we can see Caspa is closer than ever to surpassing Solana as the most popular cryptocurrency on social media. This is not a popularity contest, however. We're going to do a deep dive into recent regulation. Looking at the Bitcoin chart to get a big overall picture on regulatory issues in crypto, we start off back during lockdowns. In March of 2020, the FOMC starts printing U.S. dollars, tripling the supply worldwide. With this much money in circulation, all risk on assets go through the absolute roof as anything can be used as a shelter against the inflation that this money printing is about to create. So cryptos across the board absolutely skyrocket. This party soon comes to an end. Starting on March 9th, the White House signs this executive order. This starts to empower Gary Gensler. Immediately after this executive order is signed, there's a relief rally for insiders to get out. And then the market does a complete nosedive for a full year. And we can see key dates like May 3rd, the FOMC adds 25 points to the federal funds interest rate. Things start turning around directly here on March 15th at the bottom of this Bitcoin wick. Pal gets to the podium and he says, well, I'm adding 25 more points, but that's it. At 5%, we're going to hold strong until inflation is finally tamed. And news that Pal would no longer be raising rates, that alone was so bullish, the crypto market started stepping into overdrive. JD Vance comes into play. This guy spent three years in Silicon Valley working side by side with Peter Thiel. This is Aquaman's original mind map, and we've added on to it the PayPal connection through Yes Capital, which seed funded reserve rights. PayPal owns a majority share in that cryptocurrency. Obviously, PayPal is very eager to get involved in the crypto market through connections with Visa and different wallets like Tangent. And Caspa is ready, set to go on the front line of this battle, making JD Vance the ultimate candidate for Caspa, showcasing JD Vance's entire portfolio. He's got some gold. He's got some Walmart stock. One of his biggest positions is actually in Bitcoin. By chance, he's the guy who drafted the bill to get Gary Gensler out of power, undoing the action that took place on March 9th when they signed that executive order. Then he went around glad handing with all these other politicians to get the bill passed. When it got up to the White House, President Biden vetoed it, sending it back down to the Senate. Once J.D. Vance is in power, the first thing he's going to do is remove Gary Gensler and install members from the Commodity Exchange. For those of you unfamiliar with the difference between a security and a commodity, a security is a chain of frozen yogurt stands. There's definitely profit involved there. A commodity is just an entity like oil or gold. It's in thin air. It's not a business itself. Therefore, cryptocurrencies, specifically ones without massive VC backings like Caspa and Bitcoin, belong in the commodities section because once they step foot on United States soil, Gary Gensler and the SEC have full jurisdiction to take them to court. Here's the catch. Who's going to pay for the lawyer bill for Caspa to prove that it's a commodity? There's nobody with the bag. Of course, they could do fundraisers and stuff, but that's beside the point. 
what the government is doing to crypto is criminally wrong. So particularly for Casper holders, we need to get Gary Gensler out of the way. And the moment that that happens and the commodities regulators are in charge of cryptocurrencies, that alone is the number one driving force for when Casper is going to be on Binance and Coinbase. It's working under Peter Till in Silicon Valley. J.D. Vance can also help the artificial intelligent growth in the cryptocurrency sector. We can see the stock market is being dominated by seven stocks, all of them with their finger in artificial intelligent pies. Soon, this phenomenon will move over to cryptocurrency. We just saw the merger between Ocean, FET, an AGIX. It's listed right underneath Caspa in the coin market cap ranking. Aether, a monster in the D-pin world, they've got more hash power than Flux, Render, Chlorei, Akash, every single GPU mining crypto put together. Aether's got more hash power, more GPU computer force than all of them combined, showcasing artificial intelligence in crypto is ready to make a monster rally. It's one of the things we focus on inside our group. With the 24 point checklist, we have over half a dozen of these reports filled out. The majority of them are in artificial intelligence. To give you an example of the details that you catch when you use a written system going over every fine point, somebody in VIP asked me, can you check out Alfium for me? And we noticed something of funk once we got to the GitHub page and we started studying the code that the developers use. Typically, with a cryptocurrency, the coders use Rust, like the Caspa Rust rewrite, or Solidity. Those are the two most popular coding languages. There's others like Golang, Python, etc. Alfium uses their own customized coding languages. This cuts it off from hiring great developers that used to work on Ethereum, Solana, and actually shows us that the growth won't be from DAP development and therefore may be a little bit more of a hoax having to do with their very restrictive emission schedule. Of course, there still could be some upside on Alfium, but it definitely isn't going to be come from great DAP development. This upcoming 2025 bull market is going to be filled with very important calendar dates, like the history that we just went over. Having insight into when they're going down and being able to place trades around those events, the combination of technical analysis with fundamental awareness is the next level of crypto trading and what our VIP group is all about. Thanks for checking out this video, guys. We'll catch you at the next one.